The U.S. Secretary of State has been holding key meetings in Israel. It's Antony Blinken's 11th trip to the region since the outbreak of war last year. A short time ago, he sat down with Israeli President Isaac Herzog. On this trip, Blinken is also holding discussions with the country's defense and strategic affairs minister, as well as the prime minister. It's all part of a renewed effort to jumpstart Gaza ceasefire talks following the killing of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar last week. Blinken's first matter of business was a conversation with Benjamin Netanyahu. NBC News is reporting that Israel is considering an Egyptian proposal for a small-scale ceasefire with Hamas that would pave the way for our larger deal. CBC senior correspondent Sasha Petrasik is just outside Zarat, Israel, overlooking the border with northern Gaza and the Jabalia refugee camp. The biggest refugee camp traditionally in northern Gaza this is the area where there's been so much fighting uh, over the past couple of weeks. It's been revived, it's been intensifying, as Israel is, says it's trying to root out Hamas fighters who are hi hiding in control centers and also in tunnels underneath this refugee camp and underneath the hospitals there. But the people who are there, the hospital workers, uh, eyewitnesses and NGO workers, including those aid workers who are working for the UN, are saying that Israel has sealed off the area, not allowing aid, food aid, medical aid to get in, not allowing people to get out without being shot at, and not allowing them to retrieve bodies of those who have been killed. Israel denies that and says that it has been letting thousands of people out and letting aid in. But this has been an intensifying situation which has left a lot of people in a lot of trouble and it has just made life worse for many of the people who have been moving from one end of Gaza to the other trying to find some sort of refuge. Now this fighting is continuing even as the United States increases pressure on Israel to try to come up with some sort of a ceasefire, some sort of a plan to stop the fighting even if it's temporarily, not only here in Gaza but also up north in Lebanon. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived here today to meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and other officials, including the Defense Minister, to try to convince them that there should be a ceasefire, that Israel should declare victory after killing the head of Hamas, Yahya Sinwar, last week, and basically step back allow a ceasefire so that hostages, about 100 Israelis who are still being held here in Gaza, can come home. Then, after that, other things could be on the table which could potentially lead to a more permanent peace. Again, not only here, but in the north as well. But it doesn't seem at the moment like either of the sides, Hamas here, Hezbollah, the militia in Lebanon, or Israel are making signs that a peace deal is imminent or that they're about to fundamentally change their positions. So for now, the fighting continues. In fact, it intensifies with Israeli strikes in Beirut and in Lebanon and with rockets coming from Hezbollah into central Israel today and with the fighting here in Gaza. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, in Starat, on the Gaza border.